Hello, fellow pedestrians. You know that feeling when you're at the airport and you step onto a moving sidewalk? You're still walking, but suddenly the world is floating by so much faster and you have all this extra effortless speed. Well, that's the idea behind these. They're called moonwalkers and they basically put an electric moving sidewalk under each of your shoes. They promise to increase your walking speed by 250% with no additional effort. So questions, are they real? Apparently. Are they ridiculous? Possibly. Are they safe? Are they tough enough? Do they work? Are they actually good? So we've reached out to Shift Robotics here in winter in Pittsburgh, and we're gonna check out their R&D lab. All right, I'm all ready to go to work as a moonshiner. Anyway, let's see how this goes. First things first, I need to know how these things work. So I'm gonna get a crash course from the very guy who dreamed them up. Okay, so I'll help you to activate them. Uh -huh. What we should do is lift up our heel. Yeah. Right heel and turn inside. Yeah. And then put it down. And put that down. So see the green LED here? Yeah. They turn green, that means now you're in shift mode. Okay. Yeah. It's like a, it's like a Dorothy Wizard of Oz movie. Yeah. To go back to the lock mode, yeah. right? All you need to do is lift the same heel that you just use for shifting, uh -huh. for moving into the shift mode by doing this. Okay. And put them down. Oh, That's yeah. it, you unlock mode again. Back to the white light. Mm -hmm. Let's get started. All right. Oh. Whoa. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, whoa. All right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> this is such a strange feeling. <laughs> I mean, it really feels like I've got a moving sidewalk uh -huh. under my feet that's sort yeah. of adjusting to the way I go. All right, now that I've got the basics down, it's time to put these babies through some trials. First up, the brake test. <laughs> Walking fast is obviously great, but if you can't stop real quickly, then that could be a disaster. So we've got a tape measure on the ground. We're gonna see if I can go full speed and get down to a stop within like five feet. Let's see how this goes. Oh my God, this feels dangerous. Oh, okay. That was all right. I think I actually get closer than five feet. Let me try that again. Four feet? Four feet, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Full speed and I'll take that any day. See, teeth unchipped. Okay, these things are pretty fun, but they're not just Heelys for grownups. They're powered by brushless motors and some onboard machine learning. I'd love to get into the nitty gritty of how these things actually work. So one of the things that you talk about is an AI drivetrain, right? Right, that sort right. of learns from you as you go. Can you explain a little bit about how that works? This IMU sensor inside, which basically detects how your feet move with each other. When they are in operation, actually two moonwalkers communicate with each other okay. real fast via Bluetooth at hundreds of times a second. Okay. They kind of figure out where shoes are in relative in space. Relative uh, to each other? To each other, yeah, uh. in spatial uh, relationship. So we're also looking at the power, looking at the force coming from the motor as well. So we know exactly how much force you're pushing off the ground at mm -hmm. the same time. So if I have like a very specific kind of like strut, it would learn my strut. Right, 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 right. Okay. Obviously within a margin, but yes, it will be able to learn most people's uh, stride. Okay, cool. Yeah. My strut is patent pending to see. <laughs> okay, so these things are supposed to work in pretty much everyday conditions. So we're gonna try them in a couple different types of terrain and see how they navigate a few different obstacles as well. Oh, I really feel like I'm just gonna catch an edge and go flying straight into the heart of the gnarly stuff. Pitted Pittsburgh streets. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Oh wow. Oh my God. <laughs> so I have to say, I'm shocked that these little tiny wheels are navigating these huge cracks. I mean, you see they almost half disappear into them and yet it rolls right over them with a lot of ease. I mean, I guess that's redundancy, right? You got 10 wheels. That's super impressive. <laughs> That's, that's ridiculous. What's the idea? Why so many wheels compared to like a, a four wheel roller skate or roller blade? Or right, something? right, right, right. So to be able to go over bumps or cracks, we need to make the wheel large enough. Kind of patented idea is that we try to stack the wheel together so uh, that even though they are small, but simulate much, much larger radius of rails. All right, let's go for a few more tests. So we want to try to get some slightly more concrete measurables. So I'm going to be racing myself now. This time with my heart rate monitor 
watch on. I'm gonna go as fast as I can to the end of the block and back in these moonwalkers, and then I'm gonna try to run at the exact same speed and see if my heart rate is a lot higher. My resting heart rate is currently at 95 because I'm trying to not die of hypothermia. So, go. So, I ran it at almost the same speed. My heart rate is 147. And you can see that, 147. So, more or less the same speed, definitely a lot more exertion. <sighs> this is actually the ninth iteration of the Moonwalkers. So we've been going through at least nine generations of major iterations and countless of minor iterations to arrive where we are today. Which was the first one? So. This one was de facto oh. really the first one. <laughs> <laughs> this is before like AI was integrated. Absolutely, so, like before so if any you just AI hit the button, in. your feet could actually just shoot out. From Absolutely, the yeah. If you don't release that, you can actually fly. I'm just curious, where did this idea come from? <laughs> like, wh like why? Yeah, if we can really enhance and augment the way people walk, especially in places like San Francisco, LA, New York, where most of the people commute around on foot or mass transit. Right. If we can help them to cut the commuting time by half, right. that's a huge saver for them. Pedal assist electric bikes are kind of like, help you go faster in the bike lane right. with less right. effort. This idea is sort of like a, a walking assist electric. Absolutely. Electric shoe to help you go faster just on the sidewalks. All right, time for one final test. How do these babies hold up to a real professional speedwalker? Dean is a two times collegiate national champion speedwalker, recently turned pro. Dean, how fast do you typically speedwalk a mile? Around six flat. These can go seven miles an hour. My math is not strong right now, but I'm pretty sure that means you're gonna win, but <laughs> let's find out. Yep. Oh my God, he's so fast. He's so fast. I want him steroid tested. All right, so Dean demolished me that time, but you know, these things take a little while to get up to speed, so we're gonna give me a little bit of a handicap to, to get going. All right, ready? Here I go. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, I'm pretty much up to speed. I can feel Dean already breathing down my neck. Oh, walking as fast as I can. Oh, no, he's so fast. Oh! <laughs> Add it up. Let's hit the highs and lows. High, these things actually worked a lot better than I expected them to. And they handled some really rough, rutted out terrain. I was shocked at how well they did. Felt like I had superpowers a little bit. It almost felt like I was ice skating over land. These actually felt a lot safer than I expected them to as well. They're really pretty portable. Even if they ran out of batteries, you could just toss them in a backpack. And I like that they're universally chargeable with a USB-C. You just charge them under your desk and you're ready to go home. They had pretty good stopping power and I didn't feel like they were just gonna shoot out from under me unexpectedly. They felt very intuitive. They felt like they were gonna do what I wanted them to do, not what they wanted to do. Hopefully nobody hacks them and turns them into rocket shoes. Low, there's still a few comfort things that need to be worked out. These straps really do dig in a little bit, especially if you're wearing lighter weight shoes. And I feel like they need to work on spreading out the pressure on your feet. Weighing in at 4.2 pounds each, you really do feel it with every step. Not so much when you're walking and gliding, but when it's powered off in, in lock mode, going upstairs, that's a real significant weight that you've got under your feet. They're also certainly on the pricey side, which makes them a bit of a luxury item. And that's gonna eliminate them for a lot of people. But if you're commuting in them daily, I could see it actually being worth it. Overall, I have to say I really like these things a lot more than I expected to. They were just super fun, and yeah, if I had a pair, I would definitely rock them around town at least some of the time. With all that being said, I got a little moonwalking to do. Come on. Add it up. Oh, oh, oh.